By now, Rattler Nation, you probably know the heartbreaking news. FAMU's stellar season is over at 9-2 and two, and not losing a single game past Labor Day. Florida A&M finds itself on the outside looking in of the FCS playoff. It's a tough pill to swallow with a whole lot of questions and oh so few answers. It was extremely disappointing. Um, you know, we, we're only able to play the games that, that are scheduled. And so, you know, the whole strength of schedule narrative, uh, I don't subscribe to it. Uh, we beat eight FCS programs last season. Uh, a lot of teams that made the playoffs didn't. And so, you know, we lost one game to a nationally ranked Jackson State team and another game to an FBS team that ended up playing in their conference championship game. So um, we felt we, we built the body of work strong enough to make the playoffs. Um, we felt that we were one of the 24 best teams in America. And given the opportunity, we, we felt that we could show that. Just ultimately, like cats like Isaiah Land and Xavier Smith, who put their all into their senior season. So, uh, just wanted to send those guys out with a bag, something that unfortunately we we're unable to do. But I mean, it it it, it hurt. Uh, our guys felt counted out. Counted out. Well, I said it going into the season that this was the most talented team that I've ever coached as a head coach. Um, I think the combination of, of raw talent, uh, but also the depth that we have at, at a lot of key positions, is, is really what pushes this team over the top. We're starting on offense with Jeremy Musa, uh, my quarterback. You know, right now he's arguably the SWAC's best offensive player. He was preseason offensive player of the year. Um, if things go as planned, he'll probably be postseason player of the year on offense. Yeah, the end goal is the Celebration Bowl championship. Uh, we haven't been, you know, quiet about that. I spoke about it, you know, since the beginning of the year, since media day. And I think everyone on our team understands that, you know, for us, it's a Celebration Bowl or bust. We want to be HBCU national champions. Uh, you know, first game of the year, you know, a lot of excitement built up, um, you know, it's one of our goals, right? If we want to win the SWAC East and, and be able to play for a Celebration Bowl, that's the first obstacle in our way. You know, things were riding on that game, not that it was you know, any more pressure on us, but you know, we understand what was at stake and we understood um, you know, what we had to do. One of the biggest milestones of the season uh, is, is so much that goes into that game behind the scenes that fans don't see, that everyday people don't see, but it's, I would say it's more than just a rivalry. Um, it, it means a lot to this team, to this university, so for us to go out and get a victory after losing the, the past two seasons and in the fashion that we did last year, it definitely meant a lot to come out with a victory. Um, after South Florida, it really gave us uh, a reality check. It showed us how good we were. Um, just what we were able to do with competing at a team at, at that level. Uh, it, it definitely showed us how, how FAMU is and what we bring to the table. Touch that field between the white lines, you are a starter. That's the mentality. You are a starter. That's the standard that they set a long time ago, and we'll uphold that to this day. We don't turn the ball over five times, it, it may be a totally different outcome. So I think after the Jackson State game, we had an idea of how good we could be. But after the South Florida game, I think it really um, drove the message home that if we focus on the little things and take care of, uh, of, of our part, uh, we, can, we can be a that very, very dangerous football team. Every day you're going to hear the coaches, you're going to hear the other players having that dog. And it started here with Coach Funny, you know, in the weight room. The battle is internal. The battle is against yourself every day. 
We got practice. It don't matter if we line up against Bama on Saturday. This practice, I'm trying to get better. Tuesday, we come in the weight room, I'm trying to get better. The Rattlers are preparing for their first home game at Bragg Memory Stadium, where they haven't lost a game there in nearly three years. The Rattlers got off to a very fast start, scoring two touchdowns in the first half, but Alabama State was not going down without a fight. And, uh, Isaiah Major uh, is one of the top linebackers in the country. The Rattlers have now won three games in a row and they're set to travel to play one of their biggest rival games, Southern University. Homecoming this year came with a lot of emotions. Um, one, we were playing uh, my former team, Prairie UNM, uh, the team that gave me my first opportunity to be a head football coach. Uh, their head coach worked on my staff. Uh, they have other coaches on the staff that I work that worked for me. So it was it was one of those tough weeks to where you knew that you were going to see some friends, uh, but you wanted to beat them. And, uh, so it felt good to play a great game. Uh, homecoming is always a phenomenal event. The crowd was amazing as always. And, uh, it was great to get to get the huge win, and there in the fourth quarter, we realized that Alabama and them had lost their game, uh, and which clinched us uh, as East Divisional champs. And so it was, it was a great moment all together, winning homecoming, but also finding out that something that we worked extremely hard for, which is to win the Swag East, uh, finally came to fruition all at the same time. Well, as great as this season has gone, as, as much as we've accomplished, um, and, and in many Rattlers' minds, it'll be often not if we don't bring home that uh, that Florida Classic trophy. You know, so again, that, that's a game that no matter what the records say, no matter um, where we're ranked, you, you better be ready to play. And our guys understand that, and I feel confident that we'll go down ready to play football in the Classic and again make it three in a row for for, for the mighty Rattlers.